Returns and refunds. Two words that business owners want to hear as least as possible while running their businesses. And you will. You won't be handling too many returns and refunds. That is because you learned how to conduct thorough product research on the product that you are going to sell. And on top of that, most people do not like to return the products that they bought unless they are really not satisfied with it or unless the product arrived damaged or broken. But in most cases, people do not want to deal with returns, not the customers and not the business owners. Think about it. How many products have you bought in your lifetime? Not just by buying online, but also from physical storefronts, any type of product. And how many of those products that you have ever bought in your lifetime have you returned back to those stores for a refund or a replacement? A really, really, really small number out of all the products that you are buying. That is why you don't have to worry too much about returns and refunds. Most of your customers are not going to be returning their products, but every now and then when you'll have that little one exception, you'll have to know how to deal with this return and how to manage with the replacement or the refund. So here's how you get to it. If you are going with the manual orders like I talked about in the last lesson, you're processing your orders manually, you will have to log into your supplier site and ask them for a return label. Tell them the reason that you want to return the product. Give them the same reason that your customer is giving you if the product arrived damaged or if the product is not as described or is simply not happy with it. So in the case of manual orders, you'll have to deal also with your supplier and also with the customer. Make sure that the supplier will give you a return label, whether it's a paid return label or a free return label. It really depends on which supplier you're working with and what conditions they are giving you, which are the same conditions that you are passing on to the customers, following and according the policies that you have set for your store from a few lessons ago. So on manual orders, go to your supplier and ask for a return label. Use that same return label and send it to your customer. Once the customer sent the product back, you can track it using the tracking number that you have on the return label. Once the product returns, send a refund to your customer and do not forget to get a refund accordingly from your supplier. That is how to deal with it when you are going with manual orders and you are processing your orders manually. Now, if you're going with the automatic order service from AutoDS, remember that there are two types of automatic orders. One is where AutoDS is using your buyer account. And the second one is the fulfilled by AutoDS where AutoDS is using their own buyer accounts. So if AutoDS is using your buyer accounts, which means automatic orders, but not fulfilled by AutoDS, the return process is the same as manual orders. Go to your supplier and ask for a return label. Give them the reason that your customer gave you, just like we just talked about the last minute. But if you're using the fulfilled by AutoDS service, the process is going to be much more simple for you. All you have to do is go to the order status, as you see over here, then click on the order status and click on request return. Now from here, one of two things can happen. One, the return window will be closed. As you see over here, you'll get a red circle with an exclamation mark in the middle. And if you hover over it with the mouse, you'll see the reason why you were not able to get a return label for this order. And the reason here is that the return window is simply closed which means if the supplier gave you a 30 day return window and the customer opened up a return after 60 days, you will not be able to return the product and you will have to let the customer know that the return window is simply closed because 30 days have passed and make sure that those 30 days are showing up in your policies to make your life easier and the customers. Now, the second option that you can get from starting a return request is a return label over here. As you can see, you see this blue icon with the text pad in the middle. And if you hover over it with your mouse, it'll say download return label. Once you click on it, the file will download onto your computer. Once it's downloaded, it will look like this, a return label with the tracking number over here. Write down the tracking number on the side so you can track this return. Once it returns, send the refund to your customer. So the process is much easier when you're getting the return label in just one click from AutoDS. It really simplifies the whole process. That is why I personally love the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. You don't have to do anything to process out your orders. All you need to make sure to have is auto order credits and Fulfilled by AutoDS balance. And then your orders are processed automatically. Your tracking numbers are updated automatically. And if you need to return a product, you just have to click one button and get that return label. You don't have to talk to any suppliers. You don't have to give any reasons. And everything is just much more simple, much more automated saving you a whole lot of time that you really need to be able to scale your business the right way because you need to invest your time in growing your business and not getting stuck on small things like orders and returns. 
That is why I highly encourage you to join the Fulfilled by AutoDS service because we know that you're going to love it. Anyone who creates an account will get 30 auto order credits for free. And if it's not costing you anything, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So that is how you can manage your returns and your refunds. It's not a very hard process once you learn to do it, especially when it's automated for you. Even if it's not automated, it's not a big deal, but you will spend more time to get that done for you. So once again, that is all when it comes to returns and refunds. You don't have any assignment for this lesson just like you didn't have for the past, unless of course you have a return or refund to take care of. And now I hope that everything is clear. Now allow me to say that you did a great job making it this far. I'm not kidding. It takes a lot of hard work to build your store, to make the right research, to learn how to market your store and your products, and to fulfill your orders and manage your returns and refunds. When I say it like that in 10 seconds, it sounds like a walk in the park, but we both know that it's not. On the other hand, the knowledge and the value that you gained, plus the asset that you just learned to build online, it's priceless. I'm sure that you can agree with me on that. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we will have a bonus lesson for you guys. But this course is not just over yet. Well, technically it pretty much is, but we want to make another bonus lesson for you because you worked this hard on making it this far. You deserve it. And we want you guys to really go out there and be ready to grow, flourish, prosper, and hopefully start hitting those big numbers sooner than later. I'm really proud of you. And I'll see you in the next bonus lesson where you will learn extra secret tricks on how to run and optimize your dropshipping store.